in this video, we're going to talk about Google Voice and how businesses that are just starting out can use it as a way to kind of monitor their calls, but then also avoid having all of their calls publicly going to their cell phone number. This is a great way to stop telemarketer calls, things like that, and also just have a better work-life balance when you have your calls going to a device that you could actually turn off or to a phone number rather. So there are other ways to do this and there are more robust ways to do this. Um, but when you're first starting out, you don't have the cash flow a lot of times to justify an expense on a phone number just for a business. So what you can do is you can very easily go in and set up a Google Voice number. So if you go to voice.google.com or if you just search in Google or Bing, the phrase Google Voice, it'll pop up at the top. You can see I already have Google Voice set up, but I've actually let this particular account go dormant to where I actually don't have a number set up on this account. So this was used at one point, um, but it's not used anymore. And you'll see right here where it says to call and text, get a number from Google Voice. So you can go to the settings. So depending on where you are at in this process, uh, the page may look slightly different, but we're gonna go to the settings because this will show you inside of your account that you don't have a Google Voice number. And this will look very similar if this is the very first time that you've logged in as well. So one of my clients is in the Atlanta area. And I can actually search for, let's say, 404 as an example. You can see all the different 404 numbers. Let's go to 770. Let's pick kind of like a North Georgia number. So you'll see right here, this number has been claimed. And to complete the setup, you just need to verify your existing number. So what you do when you hit this, what's gonna ask you to do is to attach a phone number that you have, so like a cell phone number, something that you can link to this. And that way, once you link it, all of those calls can be forwarded to this number. So that's just by design how Google Voice works. Now, I'm not going to do this process right here. I'm actually going to switch over to another Google account, which I already have uh, Google Voice set up so you can see how the account linking and all that stuff works. So right here, when I'm back on the account page, once I've actually attached a phone number, you'll see my Google Voice number down below here. I've had it blurred out just for the sake of this video. And then you can see down below all of the different devices that I have associated with this. You'll also see right here where I can click new link number. So you can link multiple phones to this. I have three phone numbers already linked. So when this Google Voice number gets called, three different phones light up as soon as this particular phone number is rung. And you can put in new ones and you send a code and that code will will go out. You can do it based on text message or you can verify by phone. So if you're using something like a landline phone um, at your desk, you can actually do that as well. And you'll see right here, I can click that and you'll actually get a phone call from Google that will provide you with the six digit code and then you just type it in. So it's pretty easy to set up once you have it have a number associated with this. So inside the call section, if you actually scroll down, you'll actually see things like get email alerts, screen calls, incoming call options. And you can even do this thing where if you want to show your Google Voice number on your mobile device when a call comes in. So this is a really great way to kind of see, is it a spam call that's coming in or is this something from your business? So you can actually save your Google Voice number in your contacts. And every time you get a phone call from that Google Voice number, it's going to show the caller ID as your business name. And that way you can actually pick it up and that way you know that you have a business call versus a personal call. It's a very easy way to, to have that kind of 
uh, organized for you. There are a lot of different things that you can do, a lot of really cool features, incoming call options, stuff like that. But if you simply just set up a linked, uh, linked phone number and then take that Google Voice number and put it out publicly, you're gonna have a, a situation where it's gonna be very easy for you to be able to manage your kind of work-life balance, be able to turn off incoming calls from it. So if you wanna kind of have like a, um, a time period where um, you're not actually picking up calls, there's all sorts of things that you can do, filter calls, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested in hearing more, feel free to reach out. I can always make a follow-up video to kind of talk a little bit more about the features of Google Voice, but I just wanted to show you how simple it is just to set up a free phone number for your business. If you have questions, feel free to reach out. My contact info is in the description of the video below.